What's going on guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to Lost in Red. Our friend has been kidnapped. We need to find some information on how to actually get people to start telling us the truth around here. I wonder if we can trick her into helping. You, I remember you. We've spoken before, haven't we? Earlier today, Nishka, we spoke about the key of this land, remember? No, I don't... I don't remember much, and... I'm sorry, what did you want? How did this war start? Oh, with the children. The three children. They... They... Well, something happened. Uh, something? Did one of the triplets murder the king? I'm sorry, Nishka, but did you kill the king? There were sounds from his chambers. Was someone with him? I was his bodyguard, and I ran to look, and... He was supposed to be sleeping, but... But... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Please don't cry. You've... you've lost so much. I'm sorry, I just... It was such a shame, such a... Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot what we were talking about. Hello? Do I know you? I'd like to ask about the triplets. Can you remember something that could help stop this war? I'm sorry. I'm afraid... I'm afraid that these days I don't remember things as well as I used to. I have moments where I can see things so clearly and then... Poof. But there have been times where an object reminds me of things. Holding an important artifact that reminds me of a person or an event. That could bring it all back. Can you find these objects for me? One for each triplet. That could bring it all back. Oh, and if you could find the murder weapon that killed the king, I could remember that too. I feel certain of it. That seems a bit hard. Someone's probably have to have that as evidence by now, surely, right? How can I convince the triplets to just give me all four things? I brought you the objects that would help you remember who murdered the king. Are you sure? I'm sorry, find what? What were we talking about? Oh, if only I could remember. I'll return to you with those four things, Nishka. <laughs> that is more like reminds it. me. I'm supposed to warn travelers about something. I'm supposed to say something very, very important. <sighs> oh well, it's probably fine, and we should all stop worrying about it. Like your attitude. We'll be fine. What's the worst can happen, right? Bits are off when you go to call from old Maddie Dex, Esquire. <laughs> Seeing the ease at which Dicey affected the world, even was surprised to find herself feeling a little bit frightened of him. How could someone so small and innocent contain so much untamed power? And now, even suddenly felt like she had the world on her shoulders. Could she solve the mystery of the King's murder? Has no one actually investigated this, this entire time? Ladies and gentlemen, the Count has won the road! Okay, so every single day, I guess the Queen must come down here in... ...Pasta Dice in her office, right? For us? It's not like the regular roll of dice to pick who's 12-year-old that we're kidnapping. Because this area is always at war. I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know! Oh, really? What happened? Hi there. I'm Tea Time Tootsie. I used to be our late king's master planner. The master planner? Named Tea Time Tootsie? Where is your boss now, since the king is gone? The Nanny Fortuna, of course. 
When you're this good, it'd be a crime not to share your skills with the world. Literally. Every day I watch the battles and come up with the most thrilling stratagems for the next day. The only thing I can't predict are the rolls of the Queen's Dark Dice, but everything else I know. What's your secret? You can't be that good at predicting chaos. Observation, my dear girl, which leads to knowledge. Knowledge, to coin a phrase, is power. I just invented that saying right now. Here, let me give you an example. Every day the dice is rolled, and every day one of the Colossuses moves. I noticed. Well, wow, what unprecedented observations. Everyone noticed. But what everyone else has failed to notice is how the winning Colossus brings most of the robots he commands with it, and that leaves the area behind safer to traverse. Do any of the triples use this information? Perhaps attacking from behind on the day the dice favors them? No, only I see it. Are you planning on telling the Baroness? I bet that sort of sneaky move would please the paranoid Count. That sounds too aggressive for the Duke. Don't you work for him? Do you? By the order of Nanny Fortuna, I am not to work for either of them. Although I would be interested in learning more about the triplets for observational purposes only. Tell you what, if you meet them, come back here and describe them to me. There'd be a reward in it for you. Maybe I will. Goodbye. Chig time. I don't trust her. I don't trust her one bit. Wolf, I guess this must be where we're supposed to be going. Thought something cool would happen. Not just your little girl. You want me to walk you another five steps? Can't trust you around here. Hi there, goes mister. The way you expect, does it? All at the whim of a dice roll. Hey, kid. You want to hear a story? Sure. Love stories. Oh, <laughs> good. You're showing an old soldier a kindness, kid. There's a saying in Freetown, bad luck comes in threes. Well, it was right. I was there in the first battle, the first time the triplets fought. Right after the king died, it was savage. The triplets, oh, I didn't hold anything back. It was as fierce and as destructive as the dice maker's own fury. And when it was over, but well, that's just it, isn't it? We've never ended. We're still fighting those same battles every day. And me, I'm just about out of fight. Life never goes the way you expect, does it? All at the whim of a dice roll. Lost my sister because of a dice roll? I'm looking for her. I'm trying to find the one who's responsible for this whole mess. Everyone's looking for someone here. Me? I'm looking for my brother Henry. Lost him somewhere in the Duke's territory, or running away from the machines. I'm sure he's alive, though. I see him in my dreams, though he doesn't see me. Stay safe out there, kid. We will attempt to find Henry. He happens to be in our path that we need to go to. Yeah, much Get better. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> Deals here! Get your deals here! You're doing business in the trenches! What do you have? War is good for business. Everybody needs something in a war. That means you can jack up your prices like crazy. 
So why? I mean, jack up the deals on your prices like crazy. <laughs> Everything must go, kid. I'm not sure I want to trade with you. Are you only trading with second best, pal? Many decks. I can tell you this much, kid. You'll change your mind. Everyone comes to trade with me eventually. That's the beauty of war, kid. Everybody needs something, and I've got something for everyone. You're a monster. Your business person doing his best. Only when it comes to deals, kid. Check them out. All right, well, I don't need any new cards for now, so we are going to abandon many decks. Hey, there's the big dude again. I guess that means we go left. Day, odd encounters a mysterious stuffed toy trapped in a cage. What did she decide to do? Pick it up and collect it very easily. Count Shumu, the third of his name, the most comfort plushy and soft protector of the paranoid count of three. That's more like it. I was wondering like if it was just going to be like awkwardly quiet and like nothing actually triggers. I thought the whole place would like fall down and collapse or something crazy. But no, everybody was just sort of, you know? I don't like how the birds keep spawning. Not with the crab people. They're not too hard to deal with. Birds on the other hand, you gotta actually think while you battle. So we got a rule of random. We have a sword. Let's see, keep on collecting and rolling away. Ooh, bow and arrow. We got this. All right, so before we do anything, let's get our random card. I feel like bow one's going to be the most important thing for us, so. We'll just grab that. I want to get rid of the birds. Oh, I moved. It bought it. Table. Oh, nice. That's always a good card. Uh-oh, don't get yourself stuck in a corner. I may not find your way out. <laughs> Two of them down, a whole lot more to go. What are the odds we get a three? <laughs> that is fantastic. Walked into me. That works. Go on. Try your list, buddy. Oh, come on. One of these days will time it just right. I assume I just keep killing him. We've been here a while, though. All right, so good news is we have plenty of points here. So let's do bone. 
Where is everybody? Like there. And let's heal it up. <laughs> Dude, I did not see you anywhere near. Where I was expecting to go. I don't remember how we got the bow. I thought the bow was out, and that's how we ended up with the hammer. Weird. Alright, zero. Bombs, hammers, anything in between? I'm trying to think of what I could actually use to kill that big dude. I got a full deck. Alright, so let's get us a random card. I think that's alright, I guess. Do the witch. We have enough for everything. <laughs> I didn't mean to place it there. I'm gonna have to back myself into a corner. Go for it. I do not recommend doing that. Alright, you know what, Dicey? Just get over here. Let's blow him up. See, that's what I meant to do. I meant to play the card, but the wrong button. So far, the king is the only one, or the mayor, I should say, is the only one that I've got to actually lock onto with the crystals. Okay, so everybody else is dead. <laughs> Well, I was expecting him to smack the thing and get stuck. That didn't work. Grab you up. Maybe mystical power of sword? Sword of three? This time, you to meet your maker. <laughs> But he isn't happy. That's right. I'm faster. Like a butterfly, we are able to fly through the sky and beast rock. This is helpful. The floor is like all the way at the top. Ooh. We broke his ankle. Over there. Can I can trip him? Nope. He does not care one bit. I mean, he's basically dead. We're just going to have to go for it, aren't we? We got this. We don't need to run. You thought that. We, we were fine. No need to worry. Come on, Dicey. Let's go. All right. So we have one piece of the three. So we basically explored everything down there where the swords were. So I'm going to go to the left here and hope that we find somewhere new. All right. What do you have for us? You, you love the Count? This is good, great. You don't. 
He's great! There's definitely no downsides to the man. Everything he does is so grounded and normal. <laughs> it's super normal to go even crazier because your imaginary friend Shmoo is missing. Are you in denial? Tell me about this plush. It's a... It's the Count's friend that has recently gone missing, but any political leader would completely lose their mind about that. It's normal. He's normal. I'm normal. We're normal. Okay, I gotta go. If we talk too long, someone might think we're conspiring against him, which again, it's great. Can't wait until the queen rolls her dice and it's our time to fight and maybe die for him again. It's so great and normal. What? That doll. I love that guy. Did I choose the wrong dialogue? Or do I just give it to the count himself? This has got to be what actually gets him. Stay back! Stay back! You won't take me alive! You won't take me dead either! On our side? Over there! I'm warning you! I'm a count! That is not the best plan. Clever. They thought ahead. So really our options are to fight one spot or fight on one spot. Because we need the dice. And I'd rather him just be on my back and fight around the bad guys. And not to worry about it. Well, who doesn't know? Kiting is running around enemies. And attempting to have them not hit you while you run around and hope that you don't get hit. Alright, so we can do exploding dice, we can do bow. Oh, we can do everything. A bow. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Go ahead and get all crazy like. And let go over to you. <laughs> oh, far enough away. Oh, I thought he was going to be like a super tank. This day's a win. Oh, this wasn't too bad at all. Be a flyer. I'm wrist. <gasps> I'm gonna keep that one over there in the corner. No one to go on like completely. Free. Oh, so there's two of them. All right. So as long as we don't step in the button, we should be fine. Good. Got to say, I don't know if they'll actually spawn the crystals in here for some reason. Three. So we are going to drop a bomb. Yeah, top of our health. <laughs> Sucker. You can't get me. That'll be good. Oh, 
far, the flying ones seem to definitely give us the biggest issue, and we haven't actually come against like a flying boss yet. We get lucky. Two plus one is three. <laughs> So now, mess you up. Oh, that all had to be perfect. Anybody want to come fight? All in all, monsters we have a dice that is ready to. Actually, we gotta find some better than him, but for now, I feel like it's like the best weapon. I am mean, yeah, taking a whole bunch of damage, but I don't really care, because I got a hammer. Now I care. Let's see, heal it up. So dice, you are just going to have to go right here. Alright, so we got two answers. I'm not sure exactly what you would call them. Come on, birdie. Fight you. Oh, we're isolated. Get up the crystals. But I don't like finding you anyways, and we better course. Actually, I'm a lane to hit. And you'll die. Just fine, huh? Just as we had planned, we got rid of him. Now he fights you two. Daisies walk around here. Because every time he accidentally steps on the thing, it lets one in. Alright, so we got the big dude taken care of. Just a couple of minions left now. Come on, attack break. That is what we normally try to do. Especially when it's one of you. <laughs> there goes the sword. I think the slingshot should do a little bit of damage. But by now, we should at least have something to do damage. Uh, let's see, health, sword, or all of the above. Yeah. 
Yeah, perfect. Big tree through Daisy off. If he is playing on using a bomb, like Zoo. Alright, one of you is welcome to challenge me. It's in warrant. Do a bow, or we do a bomb. We're just gonna have to risk it. All right, so one is fully toast. Another one, well, we're still working on. the card I was hoping for. But we can do a heavy attack. Improve our worth. Nice! Aha! You're here to kill me, aren't you? I'm here to help you. No, I just want to... <laughs> no, sir. I want you to live forever. And... And then die by your traitorous hand? Aye, exactly. Stop! I want to help end this war. Sir, I want you to be victorious. Ha! <laughs> what do you know about victory? Have you ever marched out into a battle, little girl? I took Royal? Where do you think I just came from? I can take anyone or anything. I don't know, assassin school? Unlike you, mysterious interloper, I have been in battle every day in my mind right impressive my liege you're being obsequious you're being kind because you want me to let my guard down and then kill me i <laughs> yes i'm literally a child i'm not an assassin kids can be assassins i've heard of it in stories that may or may not have been based on truth I promise not to assassinate you. Will you tell me how I can end this war? End it? How can you end it when the Colossus has already moved more than once today? This war is only heating up. Is there anything you need, Count? What do I need? Everything! My bodyguard is dead, the war goes poorly, and then well, and then poorly again. And on top of that, Count Shmoo has been kidnapped! Who's Count Shmoo? War bores me! It's just, oh no, this person died, oh no, this other person died. Bah! Tell me when I've died and then I'm interested in avoiding it, obviously. I thought we have Shmoo. The third of his name, yes. He was stolen from me by the vicious Baroness, my meanie of a sister. Shmoo is like a son to me, and I haven't been able to sleep since he was taken. Do this for me, and I shall give you something. Hmm? How do you like that? Your, your bodyguard is dead? Nishka, the only one I could trust besides my father. She disappeared when he was killed, but you're in no shape to replace her, child. <laughs> Nishka, what's your bodyguard too? I met her. She's not so well. She was the whole family's bodyguard. She was great. Or so I thought until she let one of us, not me, kill my father. Do you know what happened to the murder weapon? Of course. Obviously I would keep track of that. Someone took it. A little bird whispered that it's locked up in the head of the broken colossus that used to be my father's. It should be collecting ashes somewhere in the battlefield. Why? Was someone going to use it to assassinate me? No. You know what? Yeah. Well, good. Nishka, your bodyguard is alive. Will you come with me and visit her? Even if she's alive, that leaves my lands undefended and myself open to assassination. Ha! 
It'll never happen. Okay, so. So that's the deal. Find my plushie, and I'll give you... Um... Something that sparks a memory for Nishka? Hmm. Well, I don't know what I've got like that. Oh, but I do have a finger taken from the scene of the crime of my father's murder. Tis yours if you recover Shmoo for me. Deal? Deal. The Count was an odd duck. And a paranoid duck, too, come to think of it. But even was now one step closer to triggering Nishka's memories. And possibly, just possibly, ending this war in freedom. Hey, mister, we found Shmoo. Oh, Shmoo, you're back! You lovable little scamp! I should scold you. You had me worried to death. Oh, but I can't stay mad at that face. There you go. By the card makers, Count Shmoo the Third. You're back home with Daddy. You've done good here today, noble child. You've returned my Shmoo to me, which is just about the exact opposite of assassinating me. I'm forever in your debt. And now let me give you this finger. It's yours. I hope that with it, you can uncover the truth of my father's murder. Where is the finger from exactly? The crime scene. One of my servants found it there. It's been long since replaced by a battlefield, but go on, take it, carry it with pride. A shriveled pinky, breaking and evil. Wouldn't this trigger memory for Nishka? Way to find out. In the next episode. That's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.